Hello, today we're going to do a sample think aloud from a sociology textbook. This is from chapter 8 on deviance and crime. And what you'll hear is me read through the first paragraph. And as I do, I'll be using strategies to help understand it better. So here goes. Um, chapter 8, deviance and crime. And the first section is called, What's the Big Deal About Deviance? So already I can tell that deviance is going to be a really important term. I want to make sure to understand that. Then let's begin the paragraph. As was mentioned in the culture chapter, a norm is a set of expected behaviors for a given role and social status. Okay, so here I know that I've covered this material before. Norm was in a previous chapter. Um, and it gives me a definition here, expected behaviors for a given role and social status. So I think a norm means um, doing what sort of we're expected to do in a particular time and place. Uh, later, when I'm done with this chapter, I want to go back and review the culture chapter and make sure I understand. In most societies, the majority of people conform to the most important norms most of the time. Okay, so I hear the word most repeated pretty frequently. Um, most societies, majority of people, most important, most of the time. So what they're getting at is that um, most of the time people do what they're expected to do. Okay. For example, wearing casual clothes to class is normal on many campuses. Okay, so we have a specific example here. Attending class in your European bikini might not be normal for some. Yet I witnessed this back in 1982 as a student in the newly accredited West Georgia University. Okay, so we're having some kind of example about bikinis on campus. Um, and I know the chapter is about deviance, so I think the author is eventually going to explain how, uh, how someone's dress relates to deviance. Um, Many of the female students wore bikinis to classes. It was a striking departure from what I had experienced while in high school. Okay, so she knows that this is different from what happened in the past. But I wondered back then if swimsuits were in fact deviant, given that so many students at WGU wore them to class. Okay, so for the high school, it might have been deviant but a lot of people are doing it in college. And so if so many people are doing it, does it still become deviant? Deviance is not as easily defined and established as some might think, especially if you are sensitive to cultural relativism and ethnocentrism. Okay, deviance is not as easily defined. That means that it's not so easy to explain what deviance means especially if you are sensitive to cultural relativism and ethnocentrism. I'm not sure what those words mean. I'm going to have to look them up later. But it, it talks about cultural and it talks about ethno, which is kind of similar to culture. Um, so maybe they're talking about the way different cultures ha uh, have standards of deviance. Okay, and then the next section is in bold. Um, so I can expect it to be important. Deviance is a violation of norms or rules of behavior that are typically outside of the norms. Okay, deviance is a violation of norms or rules of behavior that are typically outside of the norms. Okay, so when, when someone is deviant, they are doing things that are abnormal, right? They're, they're doing things that um, we don't consider you know, expected, socially expected. And then it says, see figure below. So let's take a look at the figure. Okay, so we've got the norms in the middle. That says what's normal or expected, and then deviance is outside of that. Okay, that makes sense. So where, what I predict is that the author is going to go on to talk about um, some examples of deviance and kind of the, the significance of deviance in a society. Why is it... Uh, important that some people choose not to follow the social expectations. Right. So what you heard was um, a, a sample think aloud of me going through the first paragraph of a chapter and sorting out what it means. Thank you.